Hey guys, this is Zeldaman009 here with um, my entry for Miss Maggie 22's um, 20th card trick contest. Alright, so you're going to need a Joker and an indifferent card, and obviously a deck of cards, a empty box, and a Sharpie. Okay, on the Joker, you're going to write, this is not your card. One word per space, so this is not your card. Not needs to be around the middle but uh, hold it in mechanic script and just see if you can place your thumb completely covering the knot and it looks comfortable and natural alright if it can then you've got it perfect now on the indifferent card you're going to write the exact same thing and you're going to want to make it look exactly the same except you're not going to write the knot but you want to leave the space where the knot would be alright because you're going to make that knot disappear so knot and then uh, no not so yeah joker this is not your card in different card this is your card okay put the joker in the box and this card on the bottom of the deck it's gonna be your force card alright so um, one more thing you're gonna write the word not on your thumb alright doesn't matter and just rub it to make it fade now um, close the card box and you're ready to go now, what you're going to do is you're going to force the Nine of Hearts on them. You can do it however you want. I just use a standard Riffle Force tutorial um, in the corner for the rest of the video. Now, just pinky break at the card. All right, just riffle down the edge. Tell them to tell you when to stop. Wherever they say stop, just pull away at the break and show them that card. All right, now you're going to put that back on top and, of course, uh, maintain a pinky break. So right there is a pinky break. That's uh, over exaggerated. That's an ideal pinky break. Now you're going to do a undercut, double undercut, and uh, what you're going to do is take away a piece under the break, move it to the top, keep doing that, and then finally take everything away until you've got this card on the bottom. Now do a double undercut tutorial in this corner for the rest of the video. Alright, so just um, take a piece, move it to the top, and just just like that. So now you've got this card and then an indifferent card. Alright? So now you're going to say, you're going to make your card travel to the box, shake, pick up the box and shake it around so they know there's a card in there. Now slowly, slowly pull it out and act surprised that it says, this is not your card. Of course you already knew that. Now what you're going to do is never show, you don't want to ever show this thumb, by the way, during during the performance. Alright, put this right on top and uh, catch a break underneath the bottom two cards. You're going to riffle up the back and see which way this card is facing. So if you see the card, then this needs to turn around like this. Alright, what you're going to do, swing cut the deck, and then as you take this part with the break underneath it, um, as you come across, you're going to set this down, but before you come across, you're going to set these two cards down right on top. Alright, so now you've replaced this card with this, or right, this card with this card. Alright, so that one more time. You've got this card right here, and you're just going to come across and drop them. As you drop them, you're going to wrist kill, just like that, and drop this. Alright, um, now as you come back up, you're going to cover up where the knot would be with your thumb. Alright, so just like that, and they think, think that the knot is still there. Of course it's not. Um, that's kind of funny. And uh, you're just going to bend the deck, pull your thumb away, and uh, just show that the knot has indeed come off of the card. Then just show, take this card off, don't flash here, take the deck away, and show them that this uh, now says this is your card, and that it is their card. Thanks for watching, I hope you all